Now, so let's see what are the functions carried out by small intestine. Again, like stomach, small intestine function also depends on the liquid secreted in small intestine. Now let's see what are the liquids secreted in small intestine. The liquids which are secreted in small intestine is categorized into three categories. First, it is called as pancreatic juice. Second, bile juice. And third, intestinal juice. Just like gastric juice. Whenever word gastric comes, it is related to stomach. And when it comes intestinal juice, it is related to intestine so these are the three types of juice or liquid secreted in small intestine Now let's see what are the functions of each juice. Now speaking about pancreatic juice. Pancreatic juice cannot get activated without bile juice. Now start bile juice. So we'll study bile juice first. Now what is the speciality of bile juice? From stomach, in stomach the medium required was acidic but for Small intestine, the medium which is required is alkaline. In case of small intestine, the chemicals or the enzymes will get activated only when the medium is alkaline. So first of all, before the food pass into small intestine from stomach, the acidic food, more specifically it is called as acidic food. When the acidic food from stomach is passing to small intestine, before it pass, it should have a medium of alkaline. So this alkaline medium is alkaline medium is created by bile juice. Now question arises: Where is bile juice formed? Bile juice is formed in liver and it is stored in gall bladder. So there is a common duct through which this bile juice enters small intestine. The name of the common, how this common duct are formed? One coming from liver called as hepatic duct, one coming from gallbladder called as cystic duct. They meet at a point and then form a common duct which is entering small intestine or uh, more specifically the duodenum of small intestine. So bile juice create alkaline medium and this alkaline medium activate pancreatic juice enzyme and intestinal juice enzyme. In case of pancreatic juice, the enzymes which are present are mostly amylase which are also called as pancreatic alpha amylase. And I hope you know the function of amylase student. Amylase break down carbohydrate into small molecule. It could be either maltose or glucose. So speaking about function of pancreatic juice. Pancreatic juice consists of enzyme alpha amylase which break down starch or the complex carbohydrate into glucose and maltose. Now later maltose also need to be broken down. So this maltose is also broken down by one of the enzyme present in pancreatic juice. This enzyme is called as maltase. Now this maltase is breaking maltose into two molecules of glucose. Now apart from this student, there are many other complex 
carbohydrate or we can say disaccharide carbohydrate like sucrose is the example of disaccharide now this disaccharide need to be broken down first of all when is this disaccharide sucrose found in which type of food it is found in sugarcane juice so when you consume sugarcane juice the starch or the carbohydrate which is present in sugarcane juice need to be broken down into simple molecule and what is the name of that disaccharide present in sugarcane juice it is sucrose so sucrose is broken down into glucose and fructose with the help of sucrase now friend you can see the name of the enzyme is on the basis of the substrate now the last disaccharide which we have to study need to be broken down is lactose now where is lactose found lactose is found in milk so when you consume milk the carbohydrate part of the milk that is lactose need to be broken down into simple molecule that is glucose and galactose and it is broken down with the help of enzyme lactase so this is all about digestion of carbohydrate now let's see how is protein digested in small intestine now the protein enzyme or the proteinaceous enzyme are present mostly in pancreatic juice and intestinal juice so let's see what are the enzymes are present in intestinal juice and pancreatic juice which breaks down protein the intest first of all we need to know which protein is broken down on the basis of that protein name we can also judge the enzyme name and we can and finally almost all the proteins are broken down into amino acid like carbohydrate in case of carbohydrate ultimately the simple molecule form is glucose same way in case of protein the simple molecule form is amino acid now let's see how is protein and fats digested in small intestine with the help of pancreatic juice and with the help of intestinal juice again i am repeating this juice consists of mixture of some enzymes which are specific in their action one specific enzyme will break down one specific kind of protein now first of all trypsinogen trypsinogen is is converted into trypsin with the help of enzyme called as enterokinase now this trypsin helps to break down protein the protein name is chymotrypsin chymotrypsin is broken down into i'm sorry chymotrypsinogen is broken down into chymo trypsin with the help of enzyme trypsin which was activated by enterokinase now so trypsinogen is inactive form of trypsin and trypsin is a active enzyme which when act convert chymotrypsin nogen into chymotrypsin next is about peptide proteins if some peptide proteins are left they are broken down into amino acid with the help of enzyme peptidase next we are going to study digestion of fats now fats have a oily consistency now before we break down fats we need to emulsify fats now the question arises what is emulsification 
Emulsification, I will give you a very simple example to understand that. Take a glass of water, put some oil drop in it. What you see, fat globules or oil globules scattered on the surface of the water. The solution which is formed is called as emulsified fat solution. So when the fats are taken in or consumed, first it needs to be emulsified. Who carry out emulsification of fats? That is bile juice. So bile juice come in action for this digestion. So first fats are emulsified. And after emulsifying, the smaller fat globules are acted upon by the enzyme. Now this enzyme breaks down those fats into fatty acid and glycerol, the simple form of fats, which can be absorbed by the bilis of small intestine. Now the enzyme which is breaking down emulsified fats into fatty acid and glycerol is called as lipase. Now the question arises, the substrate name is fats, then why it is called as lipase? It is called as lipase because biologically fats are called as lipids. Here we completed the function of small intestine. Thank you very much students.